We are in the battlefield. We are now doing a fitting for my first official presentation in Paris. T minus two days. My name is Luigi Villasenor. I'm creative director of Rude. I landed um, in Paris about three, four days ago. I went straight to work. But I started designing uh, really about a month and a half before this. I play around with titles first on the collection. And then I build a story around that, you know. Usually they come, they root from personal stories. And then I tie in feelings and whatever colors that is. But as so you know, like design and art are like personal and intimate spaces and to like get in touch with yourself sometimes takes time, you know. Well with casting, um, you know, I work with Marquis closely on what the vibe you want to set for the for the show. You know, we do about like 300 to 400 people that we see. I mean, that's what, <laughs> what type of percent of the, of the whole thing. This is going to be a long day. Building looks right now, so, you know, shortly after the models are going to start coming and you have about 10 to 20 minutes to start doing the fittings, make sure all that is shot and you have the models that you've chosen. Matthew Hansen is being my stylist. Um, I've known him since I was uh, 16 years old, 16, 17. I was developing different t-shirts and stuff at the moment. There's just like a, a strong, strong connection between us. Having a stylist is the most important thing for me because I design in a piece space. I see the, I see the garments and that's that. I don't see it as an outfit. So then having a stylist, we work together on building what message I'm trying to convey, you know? Are we doing a, a rehearsal for I knew about the venue during the glory days of Givenchy. You know, I wanted something that I think that I could grow with, you know, so systematically, like, and logistically speaking, like, I wanted to have a venue that I could have a firm foundation and continuously grow and develop and have, like, a palais kind of feel to it, you know, and uh, I think Lisi Carnot provides that, you know, with the beautiful, like, glass roof and just, just the structure and the history of, like, that, the building, you know. I feel like I'm in Paris with Los Angeles vibe. That one looks five changes. These are all easy. It's like all athleisure stuff. It's not about it being easy. It's about the time. Is there any way that they can go more towards the end? I think the biggest challenge before the show has been uh, my my lack of knowledge of how to do things. You know, I have experience in development and design, but as far as like running a full show, to me, has been like a walk in the dark. You know, and you walk in the dark, you either step on stones or you land in gold. When we designed this collection, I really thought about the viewer's experience first with just the presentation itself. But more so, it's about um, like how do I explain myself to someone that isn't familiar with the brand. You know, so I wanted to cover a collection that's very introductory to what the aesthetics is and honor the past few years of struggle that I've had and, you know, kind of pay homage to that. The foundation of like what the brand was built on. You know, I take time out of my day to have self-reflection. I want to make sure that the foundation is still correct and my mind is still aligned with the vision I had when I started. I talk to God a lot. I'm a firm believer in like using the best fabrics and having a diplomatic say on it by like, you know, maybe ripping silk, you know, or doing distressing silk to then you know, the juxtaposition. So then, you know, it's, uh, we're playing around with a lot of like hard uh, fabrics mixed with soft and yeah, it's just like free flowing silhouettes. We didn't ship the clothes to Paris. We flew out here with the clothes. You don't want to run the risk, you know, clothes and, and samples getting stuck in customs and then we do a footwear show, you know, <laughs> or sunglasses. But it's all has been a learning experience. You know? I think we've built a strong, strong um, community, loyal community, a niche community of consumers and just really just um, fanatics of my stories and due diligence to do um, a show, you know, and I think it's also the next step for the brand as we pr continue to progress. Building stability has been my main focus here and I want to be a household name.
feel honored. You know, I've come a long way. I um, came from making t-shirts and hoodies to now presenting an official calendar in Paris. Um, I think I can set a perfect example for someone that, you know, can find a silver lining in anything bad, you know. But, I, I mean, really, it's been a, a whirlwind. You know? I thought it would feel a lot different, you know, from when I was younger. But being here now, it's, um, it's really just work. It's hard work. And, you know, nothing's more rewarding than a hard-working team, a full team that's dedicated to the same vision as me. I move by instincts. I don't, I don't make business decisions by instinct, but design I do. Um, and how we progress I do. I feel that um, what's once a consumer before, before I was a designer, and I understand like my behavior, speaking from the subculture that I'm representing and how we behave when we're shopping. We all want to look nice, and I think that's where we're headed to. We came in, you know, showing in an apartment, to doing showrooms, to doing massive showrooms, to now doing a show.